You are watching The Lighthouse for today's viewers. Brought to you by OneWorldForYou.org. In our studio today, in our show, we have Dr. John Lebecki, and I will welcome him, then we will hear what he has to say. Welcome to our show, Dr. Thank you. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. So here we are, and we will uh, let our viewers know about you a little bit and what you are doing, but also my lovely Serena will introduce you to the viewers. And thank you again for coming here. It's really nice meeting you and speaking to you about this. So I have a couple questions to ask you in regards to just what you do. And uh, I was interested if you've ever been interested in Chinese medicine. Thank you for having me here. Yes, I have been very interested in Chinese medicine. I took courses in Chinese, med Chinese medicine in Chicago okay. about 30 years ago. And I, to my surprise, I found that the Chinese had a totally different approach. In China, already thousands of years ago, the doctors were only paid as long as the patients were well. If a patient became sick, the doctors would have to treat him for nothing, you see, because it was considered to be the doctor's fault that the patient was sick. Wouldn't it be wonderful if that could be the case in our country? <laughs> uh, we would have no cancer, no heart trouble, no sickness, <laughs> and uh, the, pre the premiums, the insurance premiums would be go down to 10% of what they are now, and uh, we could literally save ourselves financially. So why did the Chinese consider that it was the doctor's <clears throat> fault if a patient was sick? because they discovered that there is an energy flow in the body okay. and that if nothing is interfering with this energy flow then it is impossible to be sick therefore the Chinese already thousands of years ago went to the doctor not when they were sick already but when they were still well and it was his job to correct the interference before the patient was aware that he was sick therefore if he failed to correct the interference in time and the patient became sick it was considered to be the doctor's fault that the patient was sick. Therefore, he had to treat him for nothing. Hmm. So then why can't we do the same things here, the same way? Well, for two reasons, I suppose. First of all, we haven't somehow, Western medicine has not thought of doing this this way. For, and they haven't shown any interest in Chinese medicine, or not enough interest. And secondly, we do not have a method of discovering what is causing interference we have no satisfactory, easy method of doing so. Okay. So then has anyone made an attempt to try to detect and measure the flow of energy in the body? Yes. Primarily the uh, homeopaths in Germany who use electrodiagnosis, they mm, did quite a lot of work on this. And then in other countries, doctors who use uh, muscle testing, they have also made attempts at trying to find a way of discovering the energy flow interference. In, you see, uh, before a patient was sick, and of course, when the patient is sick also. Okay. So then, what are some of the factors that cause interference in the energy flow in our bodies? I would say that the number one factor nowadays are chemicals and metals and so on, all the things which have been created by modern science. And secondly, infections. Okay. So then, how does one get rid of these harmful organisms? I thought there's nothing possible to get rid of these things. Well, there are two things that we, we have found, or have been found, that will get rid of these things. First of all, there's a, a thing like this. There's a homeopathic imprinter, mm -hmm. which will imprint. <clears throat> this is the input, that's the output plate. And if you place your finger here, and you switch it on and activate it, it will imprint this finger on that finger. But the imprint is literally thousands of times stronger. Therefore, this, this imprinted energy travels through your body and will instantly kill all bacteria, all viruses, all parasites, and remove a lot of the chemicals. So in other words, this alone, if it was used uh, properly and in, by the public and so on, we could avoid all infections There'd be no amputations because of infections. There'd be no f swine flu. There'd be no uh, nothing called no viruses and so on. 
So then if that imprinter is used correctly, then all these infections and parasites are impossible? It's absolutely impossible, yes. Okay. I've, had, I've had thousands of patients who, who have proved that this is true. I mean, we've had people with gangrenes and tremendous infections, I mean, MS and so on, and the moment they used this, all that was eliminated and they got better. So now, who discovered this? It was first designed, I believe, and discovered in, in Germany by the, primarily by the homeopaths. Okay. I remember that the, it, was usually, it was at one time called the Vohl machine because a Dr. Vohl, uh, he was a very firm, famous German homeopath, and he did a lot of the initial work and, and he made a lot of discoveries on this. Okay. That's very interesting. So now what about heavy metals? Oh, heavy metals play a very important part in causing chronic conditions like cancer and MS, uh, no MS too, but especially fibromyalgia and so on. And it's been discovered now that they can be neutralized by using a uh, laser. Uh, see, if you laser the person, uh, the, this will deactivate or remove the heavy metals and then of course the harmful effects they cause are also removed. Well, that's interesting as well. Um, are we ever likely to discover a quick and easy way of trying to check what is interfering with the <coughs> energy flow in the body? Is, is that possible? Initially, there was, this was done with electrodiagnosis, but electrodiagnosis is slow and is cumbersome and it's not that easy to use. And it's not possible, it's possible to make mistakes. But now there's a much better way of doing it uh, with a form of muscle testing, which will tell you instantly with absolutely 100% accuracy exactly what infection a person has, what parasites they have, what chemicals they have in their body, uh, and exactly what, what is interfering with the energy flow in the body. Therefore, if this method was, became widely used, we could literally eliminate all our health problems. There's no reason why anybody should have either cancer or MS or, or fibromyalgia or any kind of infection or anything else. So how accurate really can these results be? They are absolutely 100% accurate. The, 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 this method of, of testing for energy flow interference is 100% accurate, not because of what the doctor does, but because you see you are actually asking the body and the body simply never makes mistakes. The body is infinitely wise. There's, there's a, it never ever makes mistakes. Therefore, if the body tells you that something is interfering with the energy flow, then uh, that is 100% certain that is, that is the case. Therefore, if now that we have a way of literally asking the body what should be done, we, you, can, you can detect all interference with the greatest of ease. Okay. So then, what types of problems are we looking for with this new method? Well, we are looking for those problems which cause interference. Therefore, once again, chemicals and uh, deficiencies and parasites and infections and uh, scars have turned out to be an important cause of interference and so on. Hmm. Okay. So, it's usually possible to discover everything that is causing certain symptoms with this? It is possible not to, you are worried, in, in a sense that's true. But the main, main thing is once you, if you can remove all the interference with energy flow, all the patient's symptoms will go away because the body can then function normally. If there's no interference, the body is then able to uh, recover and back, bring itself back to normal. Okay, so then if what you're telling me is um, along the lines of this idea, now, before anyone gets sick, will this new method be able to tell us if we're going to get sick? Or? Exactly. Well, that is, of course, the main thing. If only possible, it is the best thing is to not wait till you're sick the way we do, but to start looking for interference before we are sick, like the Chinese did. Therefore, if our doctors were able to do this properly, then nobody would have to be sick because this method will tell you what's gone wrong and what is interfering instantly, literally the moment that interference starts. Therefore, if you understand how this works, there's absolutely no reason why anybody should be sick. Okay. 
So now I have, I have a really, really good question for you. Okay. A lot of people get headaches. Okay. So, for instance, with this new method, what are the causes of headaches? Okay, this method has shown that all headaches are 99% of the time caused by either infections or deficiency of uh, trace minerals or by a deficiency of vitamin B1. If those three are not there, then headaches are almost impossible. There are other possibilities, like for instance, literally exhaustion, brain exhaustion and so on. That can cause headaches or ex due probably to extreme stress and so on. Okay. But I mean, headaches, if, if this is understood properly, it's virtually impossible to have a headache. Okay, so then now we know about headaches. Mm -hmm. So then what about other conditions like joint pain? Joint pain, this has shown that joint pains are caused primarily by a lack of trace minerals. Mm. Manganese primarily, I would say, trace minerals and uh, <coughs> vitamins in general. If there's no deficiency, joint pains are virtually impossible. So now we have headaches. Yes. We have the joint pains. Yes. And now here's the other one. What about hemorrhoids? Oh, hemorrhoids are always caused by just one thing, and that is by lack of routine. You see, in the same way that bones are strengthened by calcium, everybody knows that, well, the routine and bioflavonoids strengthen the walls of the, uh, of the uh, veins. Therefore, it is impossible to have hemorrhoids unless you are deficient in uh, routine and bioflavonoids. If you have enough rutin bioflavonoids, the, the, the vessels are so strong they will, the hemorrhoids cannot, cannot develop. Hmm. So really speaking, hemorrhoids are one of the easiest things to cure. Wow. So then let's get into the chronic conditions. Like uh, we have fibromyalgia, multiple sclerosis, <laughs> <laughs> and arthritis, cancer, and all these other things. What all, about those? all these conditions are caused by the body becoming being sensitive and, and because they interfere with the normal function of the body so much that if they can be removed by using these tools here and <clears throat> if proper care is taken and they can be removed from the body, then all of these conditions rapidly disappear, if, especially if you can catch it in time. Mm. I would say that uh, all these conditions are very easy to prevent or reverse in the early stages. Okay. Once they've got very advanced and very bad, then of course it's, you know, you've got so much damage done that then things become diff more difficult. So now you're really going to think I'm picking on you because I have another question. <laughs>